Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about something interesting related to Google Analytics and especially GA4. Being specific, we'll be talking about unassigned traffic in GA4 and how do you fix that. Before we get into much details, let's try to understand what exactly unassigned traffic in GA4 is all about. Unassigned traffic in Google Analytics is basically the traffic which Google Analytics is not able to categorize. This usually happens due to two reasons. Firstly, if there is a gap in the traffic setup or else the source of that traffic cannot be identified and it is important to fix this issue because you need to have accurate data from analytics to make some sensible decisions around your strategy now let's talk about some common causes of unassigned traffic now since we understand what unassigned traffic is let's try to understand what are the reasons for it here are some of the most common causes of unassigned traffic incorrect or missing utm parameters redirects or server side issues cross domain tracking problems bot traffic or ad blockers and mobile app tracking challenges. These are the most common causes for unassigned traffic, although there could be something else too. Now let's talk about how do you fix this unassigned traffic in Google Analytics 4. Step one, review UTM parameters. Make sure all your links have correctly formatted UTM parameters. This is crucial for tracking the source and medium of your traffic. Secondly, you need to check for the redirects and the server side issues. These can disrupt the tracking process. Ensure that your website or app is set up to handle redirects properly. Step 3 would be to verify cross domain tracking. If you have multiple domains, make sure they are properly linked to your GA4 settings to avoid unassigned traffic and you need to filter out bot traffic you need to implement filters to exclude known bots and ad blockers from your analytics data and then you need to work on mobile app tracking if you are tracking mobile apps ensure you set up the sdk correctly and that it's sending data to your google analytics 4 properly now let's talk about testing and monitoring once you've implemented all these fixes you need to ensure that they have worked good for you you need to check your ga4 reports regularly to ensure there is no unassigned traffic and in worst case scenario if there still remains unassigned traffic then you need to repeat the steps already shared hope the information shared in this video was of value in the case you are still facing any issues related to tracking through ga4 feel free to get in touch with us through our website and we surely will be able to help please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you so much